Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Oof. I'm just going to make this video before I wind up today. I didn't plan to make this, but I think it's an important video for me to share. You know, a um, few videos before I shared with the guys that uh, I happened to say that, uh, you know, I wanted to purchase a couple of things. So this time I've spent $30,000 US dollars. Uh, I'm just buying a couple of toys and gadgets. So I got this, this young man who sent me the message, sir, my dream is one day to become like you. So I was like, oh, okay, very flattering. I didn't understand why he sent this. He introduced himself. I said, you know, who's this? So he said, I'm a 20 year old something and studying and all that. Sir, I want to be like you. I told him, you believe in God? He said, yes, sir, I'm, I pray to God. I said, God forbid you become like me. I said, I'm a disaster. No, sir, I admire you. I want to be like you. And I said, fine, just make sure you don't do the mistakes that I do. I've done plenty from being tattooed to being a playboy to wasting my life. Do the right things. Don't do the wrong things. And I thought the conversation ended there. But then he started to say, sir, I'm, I'm serious, sir, from my heart, I want to be like you, sir, please, sir, can you guide me to become like you? And so he went on and on. Finally, I told him, okay, stop, just take a, you know, relax. Just make me understand what, what, what do you mean you want to be like me? Because he was going on and on. He said, sir, you remember you shared in your video that you go, spend 30,000, you wanted to buy what you want. I said, yeah, so I want to be like that one day where if I want to buy something, I can just throw the money and buy. Okay. And is there anything else that, sir, like you take the video, you're walking, you don't give a fuck, it's, you uh, care a fuck about anyone and everyone. And so I want to be like that. I don't want to I don't want to take shit from anyone. I don't want to listen to anyone. I want to do my own thing. Okay. And what else? I asked him. Say, don't, you will not shout at me, no? You will not get angry? No, no, I'm sincerely asking what else fascinates you. Tell me and I'll make you understand why. <laughs> Sir, I want to uh, be my own brand. You know, he, he, he was kind of repeating whatever I have put in the video. I want to be my own brand. I want to do what I'm passionate about. I want to do what I love. So then I asked him, okay, fine. What do you love? He said, sir, I want to be a businessman. Okay. So I want to run my own business. Okay. What business? Sir, anything. I, I will do uh, buying and selling of flats. I will buy and sell cars. He gave me a list of, you know, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. I, after I listened to him, I said, okay, fine. How much capital do you have? So I don't have any money, okay? Uh, you're in your 20s, so I presume you just finished college. Yes, sir. Okay. Have you been working? Yes, sir, I work. Give me his job. He earns very extremely low. Okay. Uh, he earns so low that he literally has a second-hand laptop and he goes to places where there is a free Wi-Fi to get the internet. He doesn't even have money for that. You can't manage. Okay. So I told him, see, I, I'm not going to tell you, you can't achieve these dreams. Neither am I going to tell you a hey, stop uh, the thing. I was worse than you. I didn't even have money to have a bowl of rice. I had to beg for that rice and curry. Yes, sir, I saw that video. I tried to commit suicide in Mumbai and they went to Kerala. Fine. Okay, I, and I told him, I appreciate that you have 
seen so many of my videos. But I told him, see, one thing is, you're looking at only the glamorous side of my life. You're only looking at the fun, the enjoyment. Oh, $30,000, okay, I spend. Oh, I can tell the client, fuck off, okay. I can walk and make these videos. You're only looking at the good things. You have no idea of the bad things. No, sir, I know the bad thing. No, you don't know. And do you know why I'm confident you don't know? I said, no, sir, I, why? I said, because I don't share them. <laughs> I told him, I do not share my struggles. I do not share my problems. I do not share my insecurities. I do not share my fears. I do not share the struggles. Because it's no point. And I will never share them. If I share also, what is the point? People will just listen to it for entertainment or they will make fun of me. Okay? Nobody, people only, oh, poor thing and this and that. But nobody is going to give me money or nothing is going to come for free. I have to struggle. So, what you see on social media is the end result. Whether it's me or any other social influencer, you'll see a big car, you'll see big house, you'll see, like Elon Musk, richest man in the world. Wow, we know that part. We know that he is developing companies and sending uh, Tesla, new cars and SpaceX and... But we don't know the struggles, no? He said, yes, I remember that video. Yeah, exactly. You don't know the struggles. You do not know how my day went today. You don't know. Like, for example, you look at my physique. You say, oh, the guy is fit. Okay. Do you know if I'm taking tablets for my health? Do you know my weaknesses? Do you know that if I'm dying? Do you know if uh, I have pain? In fact, are you even aware of the fact that I don't eat food till nine in the night? Even though I can eat now. I can eat now. Nobody is there to stop me. Now I have not eaten. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I say no. Is there anyone to supervise me? No. Is there anyone to tell me, no, Loy, you must do this. Come on, Loy, achieve your target. No, I'm alone. I am totally alone. I'm alone in my house. I can eat. Nobody is there to see. I don't. In fact, all my health issues, I have health issues. I have health problems. I'm not perfectly in health. I have a lot of health issues. Okay? I don't share this with anyone. I, I, I told him, are you aware of what my current stress or problem is? No, sir. Yeah, because I've not shared it. Have I told you what my current challenge is? What I'm afraid about? Do you know when is the last time I cried? Do you know when is the last time I was afraid? Do you know when was the last time I was lying down in bed and just thinking about life and questioning, should I even live? Have I shared all this? Eh, no. I said, my dear, just like Robin Williams, no, that uh, comedian, you know, he made everyone laugh and people thought he was happy. He committed suicide. Why? He was high. He was laughing. He was making other people laugh. He was performing in sold out uh, venues. He was famous. He was rich. Yet he committed suicide. Nobody knew what were his struggles. One of my favorite chefs, Anthony Bourdain, he killed himself. What an amazing personality. What an amazing brand. What an amazing guy. Nobody knew the struggles he was going and he suffered alone. I said, you have no idea what people are going through, man. See, uh, Chadwick Boseman, who is uh, the guy from uh, Black Panther. Nobody knew he, he was dying. I think he died of cancer. You know, in fact, uh, he did uh, Marvel comic, uh, that movie. He did Black Panther. Nobody knew he was dying. In fact, uh, when he shared one of his photographs uh, where he was doing a charity, this thing for poor poor children and poor... He did so much of charity and people were shaking hands and this and that. And one of his photographs, this happened just before his death. One of his photographs, he looked completely like drawn in his cheekbones. He looked like a skeleton. And he was suffering. You could make out from his eyes. And everyone said, 
what the fuck man you look unhealthy you're not taking care of yourself and they were making fun of him and people were even mocking him saying oh he must be taking drugs and they were mocking him and making fun without knowing that he was going to die in another few days without knowing that i think his cancer or whatever became so bad he died so i told this man you do not know see i had shared about that video about me and my wifey the challenges we went through and how we overcame i said people only saw the video they didn't experience the pain that i went through and the pain she went through because of the decision she took she she didn't share it with anyone i didn't share it with them but only thing i shared was a video but what i went through nobody knows right so i shared this i said you're not aware of the days i cannot sleep at night sometimes i sit alone in the room what my thoughts are what my insecurities what my pain is all you're looking is the end result 30000 he spent oh he can tell the client fuck off he is walking making this video i said life is not like that you're just looking at the best parts of my life that i share you're not looking at everything life has so many variables i said for example right now you must be going through a lot of struggles i'm not aware of them unless you tell me and even if you tell me i wouldn't know what pain you're going through same way maybe your mother maybe your father maybe your brother maybe your sister so stop getting fascinated with other people's lives okay you want to use it as inspiration fine to motivate yourself fine have a goal fine okay i want to one day earn x amount of money or but life is a struggle life is hard life like this is not fair life is not easy and just keep in mind maybe what you're looking at the price to pay for it is maybe not worth it like a lot of people want to be movie stars a lot of people want to be celebrities well nobody talks about the fact that you have to sleep with the directors or the casting agents or you're a bribe people or you have to say what they tell you or you have to bend over give your ass to the most hideous looking person maybe you have to work for free why do you think harvey weinstein who was a sexual predator why do you think uh, so many females are holding his hands and uh, you know saying oh because of him oh i love him and they had to achieve that gwyneth paltrow what did she do associated herself with all the hollywood's elite they were with harvey weinstein even oprah she kissed him on the cheek you think they are not aware of what he is doing come on man Yeah, we want to be like the rock, we want to be Oprah, we want to be you know, Shah Rukh Khan or whatever you want to be. Elon Musk Jeff is we don't know their reality. And majority of the times if we knew what they are doing to reach or maintain that level, none of us would want to do it. When I came to know what is required to be in the movie business the media industry to be a celebrity i was like no fucking way man once i realized we only see the end result why do you think today i'm staying in this village or this forest why do you think i said goodbye to a fast and furious life why do you think i kept away from society the corporate world you think i didn't want to be a ceo have big cars hot babes uh, travel around the world get a guaranteed salary you think i don't want that but i chose a life that i wanted but i had to also pay a price for it and now it's not perfect yes i'm very happy that much i'll tell you i'm very happy but life is not perfect okay and one thing i can assure you every single day is a struggle every single day is hard work every single day is a challenge 
you will always have the ups and downs. And sometimes you will have more downs than ups. So, I just concluded by telling him, just remember, I have lived a life where I didn't have food to eat. I was sleeping on the streets. I had to beg people for a bowl of rice, rice and curry. And when I even started my business here, almost two years, no, cl no customers, no clients, two years. Can you digest that? Whatever money I earned, two years, all went. I had no idea whether I would succeed or fail, man. I, I, and I was failing. That's life. So don't, the bottom line, what I want to tell you is don't get fascinated by other people's lives. Fine, use bits of their lives to motivate you, to inspire you, to push you out of your comfort zone, to make you achieve greatness. But don't assume that, uh, you know, they say, you know, grass is green on the side. It's not perfect. It's a struggle. And any YouTuber, any social media guy, whoever is showing you, they're very happy on camera and yay and excited. And just remember, they are a human being like you and me. And we all have our ups and downs. What you're only looking at is 15, 20 minutes. That's all you're looking at. Life is more than 20 minutes of what you see. All right. Anyway. This is what I wanted to share. And just like how you're watching this video, like right now it says here 16 minutes or 17 minutes. You saw the video. What you don't know is how much work I have to put after to edit this video. In fact, just tell you one thing. Uh, the video, you know, where you saw the camera, the two cameras, which I said, uh, you know, the interesting thought provoking story about this. I'll tell you one interesting tidbit. Look at that doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey, who are you, doggy? Fine. He looks dangerous, man. I don't know if you could see it. Big, ferocious looking dog. Okay. That video, no, where I show the two cameras and I was talking of being a master of one or, you know, jack of all, you know. To do that video, what nobody knows is, I literally had to take, do 17, one seven, 17 takes and it was not coming at all. No matter how many times I tried that video, it was not coming at all. I don't know whether I had a brain fart or I was not able to, it was not that I was not in a mood or something. My, my head was not working, man. I was active. I was sharp. I drank coffee, but that video was not coming. And after nearly I think two to three hours of struggling. Imagine I'm talking, huh? Three hours of footage, all waste, I had to throw it out. Went back, sat for half an hour, drank coffee, again, meditated. So I'll do it again, even if I fail. Finally, it came out. That's why you see, when I walked out of the house, the video started to come on from there. So that video itself, I think took around nine hours in total. And I was working till late night just to put that one video. So you only saw the end result. Now you see what was the struggle? That's life. Anyway, I hope this inspires you and gives you a dose of reality of what is life. All right. You take care. Good, bad, ugly. Feel free. Comment down below. It's me signing off. Tell man. All the best.